In today's video, we're going to talk about the best free transfers of all time. When clubs sell their best players for zero dollars. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your boy, The Mowgli. We're getting close to a thousand subscribers. So please, if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and hit the like button. I really, really appreciate it. And as always, comment for the algorithm. Let's start with Henrik Larsson, okay? A legend of the game of football. He went from Celtic to Barcelona. Obviously, at that period, he was literally the best player of Celtic, but he went to Barcelona for free. Me, personally, I knew him at Barcelona, and that was in 2000. What even solidified his legacy was the two assists he gave in the final of the Champions League in 2006 versus Arsenal. Yes, that was Henrik Larsson, baby. So Celtic sold their best player to Barcelona on a free and he helped Barcelona win the Champions League. Business is business. This one is a little bit of an underrated one, but also I, I have to give him credit. Joe Matip is a great player, okay? He plays really good for uh, Liverpool, but he goes under the radar because he's not, you know, uh, Van Dijk, so people kind of overlook him. But he came on a free from Schalke before the 2016-2017 season. And since then, he's been doing his thing low-key, but performing at a high, high, high level. Even though injuries kind of, you know, beat him up a little bit, this guy is still one of the best defenders in the Premier League, in my opinion. Every time he's fit and available, he performs. So this free transfer was definitely worth it, obviously. How did Schalke let Goretzka go for free to Bayern Munich? I don't understand. Listen, we know that Bayern Munich always bullies the other clubs in the Bundesliga and buy their players, okay? Even though I think it's not fair, but well, business is business. It is fair. That's why they always win the league so easily. But this time, they didn't even pay for it. They got it for free. How did Shaku let that happen? Because right now, I feel like Goretz guy is probably worth 70, 80 mil. And they got it for free, bro. He's one of the best midfielders in the world. Like, he, he is insane, okay? Goretz guy, he could play anywhere. High work rate. Listen, this guy is the real deal. And they got him for free. So Bayern Munich, you know, they got somebody, man. One of the GOATs, ladies and gentlemen, Ruth Hulitz. He left Sampdoria for free for Chelsea, okay? I don't know how clubs like Sampdoria, who obviously need the money, let the best player go for free to Chelsea. Chelsea has the money to pay. I don't know how that happened. I wasn't, I think I was born. Yeah, I was probably like one year old or something. But I don't know how that happened, man. He ended up becoming, uh, obviously, I think he was already a legend at that time. He even boosted his legacy even more at Chelsea because on, on the second season, if I'm not mistaken, he came second in the Footballer of the Year run. And the guy who beat him was Eric Cantona. So, Ruth Hulitz was the guy, even at Chelsea, bro. They got him for free. That was definitely worth it. Michael Balak left Bayern Munich for free. After playing with Chelsea for four years, he won three FA Cup, a Premier League, and also reached the Champions League final. He was the mastermind in the middle field, sitting at the base of a three-man midfield. Underrated business. Another legend, Saul Campbell, man. I didn't know him from Tottenham. I knew him from Arsenal. And his transfer was a free one, but it was definitely worth it because he ended up winning like multiple Premier Leagues, some, some, some FA Cups and he came out as one of the greatest centre-backs in English history. <laughs> kudos, kudos to Arsenal, that was great business. 2016, Zlatan Ibrahimovic leaving PSG after being the top scorer, right? And especially at that age, because he was old a little bit, and he joined Man United for free. Once again, I don't know how these clubs do this. Bad business, bad management on their side, but hey, the other club that's receiving the player is happy. Because he did his thing in the Premier League. Yeah, he did not like score 30 goals like in the league, uh, but he scored enough goals. I think it's like 20 something goals. 28 goals in his first season. So come on now. Come on. I think that's more than I think that's more than Ronaldo scored this season, right? Yeah, so put some respect on Ibrahimovic, man. That free transfer was definitely insane. We can't talk about free transfer without talking about Pogba, bro. So Man United got Pogba from Le Havre, an academy in France. And you know, they, they, they build him up a little bit and they lost him on a free to Juventus, okay? Back in the day. Pogba became a superstar, Man United bought him for 90 mil, okay? They got him, a couple years later, boom, they selling him again, but this time for zero dollars. Man United, I don't know how, you dumb, you really dumb. France won like Nation League or something, this guy is decorated. And even when he came to Man United in that shitty club, he still helped them win the, I think the FA Cup and the Europa League. Listen bro, he did what he could. Can you imagine that Borussia Dortmund lost Robert Lewandowski to Bayern Munich for free? Bro, he turned out to become one of the deadliest strikers of our generation 
even getting shouts of the Ballon d'Or. He was this close to winning the Ballon d'Or. Okay, I don't think he's going to win it again because this season is going to be Benzema. I, I could just feel it. So nobody's going to be surprised when Benzema wins the Champions League. I think Lewandowski uh, missed the train, but he's still a beast though. Like Lewandowski, that free transfer was like, bro, one of the best business of all time. Okay, so shout out to Bayern Munich. He keep extorting these uh, Bundesliga clubs. Andrea Pirlo, okay, one of the best midfielders of all time. He also took part in some free transfers, okay? He left Milan to Juventus on a free. And it's not a surprise that when he left uh, Milan, Milan went downhill, like they start struggling and Juventus was on a rise. Come on, bro. The difference a maestro in the middle field makes is incomparable. Legend, for sure. This gotta be the biggest free transfer of all time. Lionel Messi to PSG. And he's wearing the number 30, obviously. This happened almost a year ago. Everybody was shocked. But it turned out to be real. Barcelona let Messi go for free. Um, that was not because Messi really wanted to leave. That was not because, you know, he fell off or whatever. No, it's just because Barcelona was so incompetent with their finances that it was in so much debt that they had to let Messi go. They had to remove Messi off the, the, the books. His salary was too much. They had to let him go so they could stabilize a little bit of finances. They regret it to this day because since this guy left, Barcelona been drowning. We're talking about drowning. I think Messi want to go back there, but I mean, I don't know if it's needed, to be fair. He just needs to prove himself in uh, PSG a little bit more. Uh, he's the GOAT, I think he is. Um, nothing that happens from now on is going to change my mind about that. But hey, for people who don't believe it, I think he still needs to prove a few things to y'all. But that free transfer though, listen, gotta be the biggest of all time. I think it is the biggest of all time. Let me know in the comment section, ladies and gentlemen, if I forgot one free transfer that shook the world of football. My name is The Mowgli. Let me know what video you wanna see next. Uh, I upload every day, so like I said, subscribe, man. Let's go to a thousand subscribers. I love you, and I'll see you tomorrow for another video. Take care of yourself. Uh...